Are you at a point with the business, with your team, with your results, that it's just not where you want it to be? Are you at a place where you're frustrated, you don't know how to get ahead, you're wondering how we're gonna diagnose this thing and figure it out, how to change it, level up? Are you like everyone else where you're just trying to figure this thing out and you wanna know, how do I get from where I'm at and get where I want to be? Well, it might be time for you to call dad. And what do I mean? What am I talking about calling dad? You know, the guy that brought you into this world, the one that was half the equation, of bringing you into this world and setting you loose? Well, you could call him, but that's not the dad I'm talking about. So my name is Kevin Johnson. I'm the CEO of Leverage Consulting as well as the creator of Leverage You, an online university. So what am I talking about calling dad? Who's, who's dad? Well, it's not really a who, it's a what. So when I'm talking about dad, I'm talking about data, action, and determination. So this is something that when you take your business or you're frustrated with something where you're at, you're, you're somebody brings you a problem, or it's just, I don't, I don't know how to diagnose this thing and figure out how to get from here to there. You will use these three ingredients to get there, and I'm gonna to explain to you how. So the first and foremost place, and, I, and this, this thing I'm talking about with the data right now, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to in the last six months, just the last six months now, that have discovered things that are negatively impacting their business. It's just like when you see it, it's like big red flag. It's the kind of thing that once you see it, you just know something is not right or it's just so far off the reservation, it's not funny. So. When, you, when I'm talking about data, you need to know what are the key performance indicators that you need to be looking at on a daily basis to know whether your business and your practice is healthy. So when I talk about this, so you need to know, for example, what are your KPIs? Let's just say if you have, um, you're gonna use this as an example that I talked through. So if you know, for example, uh, for data-wise, that you overhead, you should be, at, with an oral surgery practice, your oral surgery overhead should be at 50%. That's your target, your goal that you're gonna shoot for. So when you're, when you're looking at data every month, you're gonna go through and you're gonna take your financial statement from your, from your accountant and you're gonna look at that monthly income statement and you're gonna say, number one, is my overhead at 50% or somewhere, well, how close is it to 50%? That should be your benchmark you are shooting for every month. It's super important because overhead, then leads to your ability to have cash flow to either reinvest, pay yourself, pay your team. We all need cash. But then how do we take that? If it's not at 50%, how do we back up that income statement and say, okay, my supply overhead, is it at 7% or somewhere more than that? My employment or my staffing overhead, is it at say 18 to 22% or is it somewhere outside of that? Is it that my, just like, uh, and here's another example, the client I talked to today, when he was looking at some of this, and again, data matters. As soon as he figured out that his credit card processor was charging him 6%, six, okay? When you look at things and you say, the credit card processor is gonna charge you, and you know, if you buy something online or you buy something through someone, and they say, we're gonna charge you an extra 3%. He's paying double that. So as soon as he saw it, he knew that that's not right. And now he's fixed it. He's left that credit card processor. He's moved on to someone else. Instant savings. He's making more money and not having to work any more than he has in the past. So data matters. So number one, you need to know what to look for. And number two, you need to make time and space to look at that data. And number three, under data, take this information or these expectations. So it's kind of like a set it and forget it kind of program. You can have, for example, the supply overhead and you can give that to your the person who orders all your, de your surgical supplies, your dental supplies every month. You can give that to them and say, we have to keep this within 7%. Now, mind you, the implant volume is gonna affect that, but you can still separate that stuff out and make sure that the normal supply costs are under or at 7%. So when you are looking at 
the, the data, you need to know, for example, that I can, number one, I need to know what to look for. Number two, that I'm making time and space to do it every month. And number three, that I'm disseminating this information and kind of leveraging myself through others to where they know these are important things. Also with data. It's not just about historical information, it's also about what should it be doing. So if you have daily and monthly production goals, you need to know with that data, either we're on track for our goal or we're not. Day to day, daily production goal, that's why it's there. You don't go to the end of the month and it's hopes and prayers that we had a good month. No, you already knew long before you got there that we had a fantastic month or an okay month or a not so good month. So. If you're tracking it every day along the way, then you can do something about it. So it's funny, one of my, one of my clients, and they, were do, they weren't tracking this kind of stuff before, and they did it one time. They did some things I asked them to do, and magically, they had a $17,000 day. Never before had they had a $17,000 day. Like, it was a lot more than what they were used to. Two weeks later, we're having a phone call, and he said, you're not gonna believe this. Last week, I had a $21,000 day. Never done that before. So $5,000 more than what he, he did, that was his record high just two, two weeks before. So my point with this is you need to have the data, you need to know what it is because most because most times when you see the result, you're going to know I'm good or I don't know. I don't know whether I'm good or I'm off track. So you need to take this data and figure out is it something where um, you don't know the answer to the question, and if you don't, guess what? There's somebody like me, your accountant, or someone else who can tell you you're on track or you're not. But that's just a matter of figuring it out. So it's not a question of whether you look at data, it's just you making sure you get the data, and if you don't know what you're looking at, then you find someone else, like myself, like your accountant, or someone else, who will help you figure out whether you're on the right track or not, and then how you use that data to then cr create your new career path, create your new path to success with your practice. Because you can't look at a thousand different numbers every month, you need to look at a few key numbers that will be your path to success. So you don't have to look at pages and pages of spreadsheet data. No, you should be able to boil it down to a couple of key things that are going to be your key indicators that you are on the path to success. So as I said, the first thing, when you're gonna call dad, you're gonna look at data, okay? The number two thing on my list is action, okay? And it might be oversimplified, and we all know that, right? We all know action is required. But if you've heard me talk about the formula to success, Okay, it's strategy, it's intensity, and it's time. So that's it predicated on taking action. So with this, when you think about one, if only one person implemented your strategy, then it's not as powerful if say five people or 10 people in your practice implemented the strategy. It's not as powerful if someone is half-hearted about your strategy and they're doing it kind of, sort of sometimes and when they feel like it, as opposed to, I do it every day, every hour, every patient, I employ the same strategy. So we need action. And with that action is something, as I said, we're doing it every day, every patient, doesn't matter. We don't change this idea and the strategy based on what I feel like today or whether uh, I feel like it. Uh, we're not gonna change this based on whether you feel like it or not, who's standing in front of me, which patient this is, none of that. We take action every day. And we do it with that intensity that I was talking about where it's, it's like, there is no fail in this. It's like, you know, when they talked about when the conquistadors came over and they burned the boats, they had nowhere to go but forward. And you need to be the same kind, you have to have that same mindset. So we both know it requires action to make this happen. And so it, you have to, take this action and then spread that out and leverage it through the team because we want that intensity of 10 people, maybe your entire team, implementing these strategies to ensure that you're getting from where you are today to where you want to be in the future. And that's how my client went from what he was producing to a $17,000 day and then again to a $21,000 day like that, okay? So the other part of dad is determination. And it's a very close, it's closely related to action. 
because determination, if you think about it for a minute, it's really about the fact that I'm not, I, I, I refuse to stop taking action. When, you're, when you have that determination, it doesn't matter if you have a team member that decides, you know what, I'm out of here, I quit. Um, you know, and it could be on good terms, could be on bad terms, but as a business owner or a manager, you might be thinking, you know, I'm, I'm flying along, everything's going really well, and then you get slapped upside the head because someone said, I'm leaving, I'm moving, whatever it is. They're just not gonna be here in two weeks. So you think, oh, this is terrible. It's gonna destroy everything. No, it doesn't change a thing. It's just a matter of you're gonna find a new team member and they're going to help us achieve the same goals. In fact, sometimes it's been pretty interesting watching some clients over time where they get more done with fewer people. I've seen it happen a lot. So determination is also, you know, when I, uh, one of the, a very good friend of mine, also past client, the year when, in 2020, when everybody got hit with the COVID lockdown, shutdown, call it whatever you want, huge distraction for everyone. We had a time when no one knew what to do. No one knew how to practice. No one knew what to do with uh, government stuff, with, you know, because it was federal, it was state, it was local, and people had to figure things out. But I will tell you, this man, this client, this friend of mine, absolutely determined, did not take no for an answer. He's going to keep this ship moving. Ship, S-H-I-P, okay? He's gonna sh keep this ship moving. You know, in that year of 2020, he grew 10% over the previous year, believe that or not. And he already has a Michael Jordan level kind of practice. He's doing numbers that most times when I reference it with other clients, they're like, how does he do this? Does he work morning you know, through the night? Or like, how does he actually do that? There must be more than one doctor. No, it's one doctor doing that kind of numbers. So he's just got work ethic and hustle unlike many other people. And that was his determination in 2020 that he didn't go backwards. He didn't do half the production. He didn't have a super limited practice. He found ways to produce. He brought in those the uh, UV lights, sterilized everything. He did everything he had to do to ensure that he kept growing and he kept seeing patients. He kept serving the community no matter what because the need didn't go away. And when you have that kind of determination, it doesn't matter if an employee quits. It doesn't matter if we have something that's completely unprecedented like COVID you will still hit your goal. I've seen people with health problems, with all kinds of different things, and they still have fantastic years no matter what happens. So when you call on dad, you can absolutely have a fantastic year because you pull the data, you know where you're at, you figure out the key performance indicators that will lead you to, and I'm talking about like maybe five, just those five key performance indicators that will be your path to success, the kind of thing you can look at daily, weekly, and monthly. You leverage that through your team where you have action on a day-to-day -day basis that help you get there, and then you stay determined. You And that determination has to not only be yourself, but it comes through your leadership and management to ensure that your team also has that same determination because they're looking at you at all times and they want to know, oh, this happened. Are we going to shut things down? Oh, this happened. Are we going to throttle things back? Oh, this happened. They're always looking at you to know what's the next, what are we going to do next? And when you have that level of determination, you keep those standards high, they know there is no quit in this place. Okay. So, if you, again, if you like this type of content, if you like this kind of video and you know that these kinds of things will help you in your practice, it will help you level up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, because I put out videos just like this every week that will help you grow your practice, level up, create more production and less stress.